Galaxy of the Duelist, part number three. Uh, this was not a planned episode. Uh, I'm actually supposed to not even be here right now. I was supposed to be at work today. Uh, I wrecked my car on the way to work. Uh, so I had to deal with that for about three hours, kind of stranded uh, somewhere. And uh, getting all that sorted out, called the insurance company and all that shit. Uh, finally, uh, I got back here just a little while ago, ate figured, well, might as well do something with my time, considering, you know, can't go to work, so I might as well do this, so at least make money off this, you know, balance it out or some shit, you know what I mean? Alright, well, let's just, uh, switch this out here. Switch this out, we're gonna get Swifty in there. We gotta get Swifty! Oh, yeah! Swifty, yeah! Love Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty needs to come back ASAP. Get some. I, I have a disturbingly low amount of Rick and Morty merchandise. I need to get more of it. Ooh, hopefully it wasn't a bid wreck. I did not hit another car. I basically wrecked into a snowbank, but I uh, ripped out. Uh, something happened. Either I hit a, a line or something underneath my car. Uh, I began leaking transmission fluid uh, and lots of it. Like, I just, just like transmission fluid just leaking out of my car. I was about maybe... I was only about maybe five minutes from work, so I thought maybe I could make it to work. Uh, I just got into town, and uh, my car began to overheat, and uh, began to make some very scary noises, and began to steam. Uh, my, I basically dumped out all my transmission fluid at once, uh, my radiator, some shit happened with that. So I decided to get off the road as quickly as possible so my car wouldn't explode. Um, so I pulled off into a laundromat. This just happened, to, and this this particular laundromat just had to be the same place where uh, a fellow co-worker of mine, he works at Dollar Tree, but he also works at this laundromat, he just happened to be working there. So, it was somebody that I knew, and I talked to him, and, you know, basically, long story short, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh, but long story short, my car is going to get towed on Monday, because it's a weekend, so there's nobody doing this. Uh, but it's going to be, it's, it's in that parking lot of this laundromat, which is thankful, though, because I know the people that work there. And they're like, yeah, it's fine. You can leave it here. No one's going to mess with it. So, uh, yeah. That might cost a lot. We have we have full coverage. We have insurance. Uh, it shouldn't. Uh, we have like a $100 deductible, but that's pretty much it. Uh, it's funny because I was just about to do a question and answer video with my friend Casey on uh, Monday about like stuff like when you grow up and shit you have to deal with, like with taxes and insurance and shit like that. And uh, I... It's ironic that that happened to me now, but I now I might not be able to do that video because I don't know if I'll have my car fixed in time. I might have to get a... I'm going to try to get a rental car tomorrow. I mean, on Monday. See how that will pan out. But anyway, let's get back to this. Can I turn down the music? Ah. Uh, yes. I can do that. I also, I changed the auto-skip effect, uh, because, yeah, that was getting kind of annoying. Uh, so there's basically, there's default, which that's the fucking message popping up every two seconds. Uh, and then there's pro, which is what we were having problems with. So I just kept it this simple. The, uh, the, the dialogue boxes do get annoying at times, but it's not nearly as bad as before. It doesn't ask you, like, every single phase. Like, standby phase, do you want to activate a trap card? No. Main phase, do you want to activate the trap card? No. Battle phase, do you want to activate the trap card? No. Main phase two, do you want to activate the trap card? It doesn't do that shit. Uh, it does get annoying at times, but it's fine. All right, so also, something else I should bring up is that there were some DLCs for this game. There were some pretty kick-ass DLCs. And uh, I can actually show them to you right here, but I don't know if... Uh... Okay, that didn't work. Uh, so just ignore that. <laughs> but, uh, what it is, though, is that, um, you can download different decks. Uh, most of it's going to be for Arc 5, uh, Arc V, because, as you can see with Arc V, there's only one current duel that's preloaded into the game. Uh, so you can download all the different duels with Arc, uh, Arc V there. However, there's also extra duels that you could get here. As you can see, this is the Waking the Dragons DLC I got. Uh, there were actually two. They actually broke that up into two fucking duels. Uh, there's the Joey Waking the Dragons, and then there's Yugi Waking the Dragons. And the Yugi Waking the Dragons only includes, like, three. It's like, uh, Kaiba's duel against, uh, Val- uh, no, no, not Valen. Alistair, for some reason. And then, and then Yugi versus Raphael, as you can see here. And then Yugi versus Darts. 
And then the Joey duels were Deja Duel, which was, uh, no, no, we're, uh, New Evil, which, you know, Joey versus Evil Mai. And I think also Fighting for a Friend, which was Joey versus Valen. Um, and that was all. So it was like five bucks for each DLC. And then there was also a Duelist Kingdom DLC. You remember there was a few duels that got cut out. So one of them was an Arena of Lost Souls. This was the duel between Bones, which took place between the Panic. And then after after the duel with Bones, there was Para and Docs. And then after that, it was Yugi versus Kaiba. Um, so it's interesting that they added that. And they also added Kaiba versus uh, Pegasus, the Duelist, uh, the, the Champion versus Creator. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to duel against Bones here. As you can see, I kind of already dueled these guys a little bit. I was going through the game a little while ago, um, you know, just because I wanted to. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so like I said, this is supposed to be... Well, actually, this is supposed to be in the morning that this happened. But they go into a cave and duel. I just don't understand why they couldn't use screenshots from the anime as the background. You know, if like, I understand if you're going to be cheap as shit. They, this was a very cookie cutter kind of game. They do it pretty good. When it comes to the duels, they keep the decks pretty much uh, straight with the story decks. But I will tell you, it is just such a weird thing how they will not just alter the backgrounds to being what they are in the anime. So anyway, this is a really long and annoying cutscene. I mean, look how long this shit is. And uh, th it's funny because Bones is actually... You know how Bones has like those three lackeys in the... No, two lackeys in the anime... There's the big guy, like, look like Frankenstein, sort of, and then there's this other guy who's, like, an English dude. He talks, like, with a British accent. Like, yo, you stupid git! You know, like, that kind of shit. Those characters are not in this game. So do you know what they do? They just took their dialogue and just gave it all to Bones. And now here's a backstory. Here's that backstory with Bandit Keith dueling against that kid with, with Pegasus. And there's no animation for the kid, so you have, like, no idea what's going on here. Like, Pegasus handed the note to the child. Just follow these instructions and you'll win. I didn't know what to make of it. Were you just trying to psych me out or did you chicken out? Either way, it was fine by me. So as long as I take home the prize money. And then, yeah, so it's just like really stupid shit. Yugi and some dweeb named Joey. Good, we'll take the dweeb out first. Okay, and now we're at Pegasus's castle. No, <laughs> just wrong. We're in a cave right now. There we go. Oh my god, this is such a long ass cutscene. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Story deck. Oh, by the way, you can also uh, do a reverse duel. You can reverse, like, play as other characters. I've actually tried to play as Panic. Playing as Panic is the most annoying thing ever because that duel lasted like 50 turns and I still lost. Because all Panic has is just really shitty defense cards. But let's see what Bones has got. Uh. And yeah, another reason why is because while I was waiting for my car to get, uh, you know, I was sorting out all the insurance shit. Uh, some, a, a fan of mine sent me a message that it was, in fact, the new Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonist, uh, art was revealed. Uh, and he looks pretty badass. He looks like a character that I could see myself, like, cosplaying. He has, like, the suit and tie. Uh, he looks pretty kick-ass. I mean, Yuya looks whatever. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. What was it? Um, oh, shit. Who was the protagonist and, uh, fucking, uh, Zexel? Uh, I forget. But, uh, yeah, it looks way cooler than that guy. Okay, Snake Hair. Oh my god, Joey, you have shitty cards. Uh, what is Snake Hair's defense? I mean, it's high 1500. You know. Battle Warrior. Okay, um. <laughs> yeah. My god, this, this is a shitty hand. Alright, Battle Warrior, go out! Yuya with Zexel. Really? Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure Yu Yuya was, uh... Okay, so wait, was Yuya... Okay, then I got my Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonist fucked up. It was Yuya for Arc... For, no, Yuya for Zexel and Yuma for Arc V? I guess it had to be, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Never mind, you lost. I, I pretty much did. I mean, I'll throw out uh, Copycat and uh, I think... Clown Zombie has less, so I'll copy Snake Hair, but I don't think there's really much else I can do here. 
I like the new Yu-Gi-Oh protagonist, though, just because Yuya is Arc V. See, I knew I was right. You guys always bitch. Techie doesn't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh. Techie doesn't know how to read cards. That might be true, but I still know. I, I might not know a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh, but I do know a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh, okay? There's different kinds of Yu-Gi-Oh. There's anime Yu-Gi-Oh, and then there's card game Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. Now, the one thing I will say I like about this is that it, they really go through and they look at every card that Joey played in the duel to make the story deck. Because I remember this card, Kojikosi, that was just a card that you that Joey just threw out and was like immediately destroyed by Bones of Zombies. And they still remember to put it in there. So it's like, it's like somebody took the time and effort to go through... And watch the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime and make a list of all the cards that Yu-Gi-Oh! that, that uh, Joey used. Or at least he went on the fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! wiki, because Yu-Gi-Oh! wiki also has like a turn-by-turn -turn thing, like what cards are played. So somebody put some effort into that, but no effort into like the cutscenes. Alright. 2400 Vampire Dragon. Shit, man. Well, how much defense does it have? Aha! All right, so we can do we can use the you we can use the Joey method here. We can use the Joey method. And I wrecked my car. Transmission fluid leaked everywhere. It was overheating. It is now sitting in a freaking parking lot for a 24/7 laundromat. Hopefully, no one decides to steal my rims off it or anything. But we're gonna get it towed on Monday. There's nobody open today. Ah. Shit. Can you guys still see me right now? Because I just had a notification. Sort of. Yeah. Yes. All right. I can see. Okay. Now, Dust Tornado, I believe, just destroys the card. It doesn't negate it, so that would be useless to do that. Yeah. Lagging a bit. Hmm. No. Shit. Yeah, actually. Teching, I'm a former Worlds player. You're doing fine, in my opinion. Oh! Okay, well, to be fair, though, this is with a really old deck, sort of. You know? Uh, like, this is, like, old-school Yu-Gi-Oh decks. Like, I'm not used... Like, if Bones had freaking Light Sworn cards or... I don't know what else. What what's what are the Yu-Gi-Oh kids doing these days? What are the what's the new hip trend? You know. Ah, uh, sure. I'll set out. I'll set out uh, polymerization. Why not? All right. Ah, oh, shit! Not a book of life. Book of life revives the dead. What? I think I died. Well, no, not yet, but. Now, to be fair, I wonder how they're going to do this, because when Joey used Time Wizard, when he dueled against Bones, it was the only time, the only time in the series that Joey, that he failed at the Time Roulette. So I wonder if they're going to put it in there where, it like, no matter what, okay, you know what, I'm going to use it. But if I lose, then they, they put it in there purposely. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Oh, and by the way, the people that were saying last time, like, you know, you know the gold side was heads. I mean, was tails. Like, no, the gold side is are, is heads. See? No! They made... It was, it was against me! The cards were stacked against me, bro. They were against me. No matter what, you're screwed, Matt. Yeah, I am. Bring it! Alright, let's try that again. I got a pretty shitty hand, to be honest with you. No! Samsara. Cool. Isn't Samsara the heavenly, like... That's like the uh, heavenly Samsara. Yeah, that's like the Samsara cycle, what they do with uh, Buddhism teachings. Like, that's like the whole reincarnation cycle. It's called Samsara. Let's go second this time. Let's see what he's got. Uh, 
Um, yeah, this is a little bit better. I got Sakura's 2 armor. Vampire Kingdom! Ooh. Alright, good. Good, good, good. I got two swords and shields. Uh, or shield and swords, I guess I should say. Alright, Dust Tornado, that'll get rid of that Vampire Kingdom. Sakura's 2 armor will destroy anything that gets attacked. I'll summon, uh, Masaki. Not the Masaki from Bleach. Activate shield and sword. Masaki actually has the same attack and defense, so that doesn't change for him. Destroy that. Okay. And I think we're good. Maybe we'll be able to summon Battle Steer next turn. Yep. Be gone with thee, knave! Uh, no. I don't really want to set shield and sword. I don't see any reason to do that. Oh, well, it's going to get destroyed anyway, so. Be gone, knave! Yeah! All right. Now it's all coming up, Matt. Giant boobs, Masaki attack? Um, yeah, sure. All right, I'm wondering if I should summon Baby Dragon or Tribute for Battle Steer. You know what? I'm going to Tribute for Battle Steer because I'm pretty sure he could destroy Masaki relatively easily. And uh, I could still maybe use Baby Dragon to summon Thousand Dragon. What is our fusion deck looking like? Thousand Dragons and Flame Swordsmen, right? No, no, go to battle. There we go. No. There we go. Question, do you play any Zelda? Actually, um... The only Zelda game I've ever beaten is Phantom Hourglass. I've also played Twilight Princess, but I haven't made it. Probably even probably even a third through that game. Uh, I bought the classic NES, so I have act I have like the original two Zeldas. Haven't played those yet. He's gonna start spamming shit. Luckily, I have Shield and Sword. That should be good. All right. All right. You're gonna summon your probably like. Yep. There it goes. Okay, he was kamikazeing me. Ow. All right, that's not as bad as it could have been. Not nearly. Okay, I got Axe Raider. I don't even need to use Shield and Sword then if I have Axe Raider. Yep. Okay. Favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! series? You know, I'm... You know, I gotta say the original, but I'm also very partial to GX. GX, I uh, felt was... There was more of a fun element to GX. You know... Uh, also, when I watched it, I was like, what, that was like in 2005, I was like 11 or 12. You know, it was always neat to think about, like, man, I can't wait till I get to grow up and go to card game school. Uh, still good. Uh, yeah, I gotta destroy Snake Hair with that, attack directly. So, the meta is gonna change, but I see your Grayson's being good for a bit. Sweet. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX! Generation X! Get your game on! Get your game on! Alexis is so fucking hot! I'm sorry, I got that wrong. Ooh, I can summon me a... Red-Eyes Black Dragon! Huh. Should I do that? Uh... Wow, 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 wow. Or did I win already? 1700 plus 1200 is... Uh, no, it's, that's only 2,900. Uh, but it's more damage than from Red Eyes, so let's just go to battle. My favorite antagonist. You know what? You might laugh at me for this, but I like darts. I like darts because he was basically like a cult leader, you know? Like, okay, Pegasus was just a dick, basically. Pegasus was like, you know, I'm gonna... Fuck, what was Pegasus's motive? Pegasus wanted to, like... Okay, he wanted to, like, buy out the holographic technology from Kaiba Corporation and then use Yugi's Millennium Item to combine the two and revive his deceased wife. Or, or, or some shit like that. Like, wasn't that his fucking, like, motive? It was weird, man. Merrick was, like... Merrick was really... It, it was mostly because he was kept, like, contained underground his entire life. He was pissed off at the Pharaoh. That's why he was attacking him. You know? Uh, that's why Merrick did all that shit. Um, and yeah. Yeah, so I would say Darts was basically a, cart, a, a, a cult leader. He, he essentially had, you know, a better motive than Pegasus or Merrick did. He actually wanted to, like, change the world or something. 
All right. Yeah, Merrick wanted to kill Atem, but why? He wanted to kill Atem because he spent his whole life guarding him. Like, it's not the fucking Pharaoh's fault. Pum King, the king of ghosts! All right. Ah, oh, shit. All right. I'm gonna have to do that because there's nothing else I can do. I can't... I, even if I use shield and sword, that would even help him out. Because he has 2,000 D. Alright, well, give it a shot, I guess. Damn it! Th I told you, man! They're out to kill me! They're out to get me! I might be dead. Ow. Ow. All right, this better be something good. This actually might work. Ugh. Really? Okay, you know what? I really want to get to Battle City in this one. So how about we just jump to Bandit Keith for now? Maybe we'll go back and duel somebody else later. Okay. Because I really want to get to Battle City already. That was just part of the DLC. And of course, they don't they don't throw in freaking Bandit Keith in his uh, Rare Hunter outfit. It's just like normal Bandit Keith. And this doesn't take place in the city. This takes place in like an abandoned like warehouse, but whatever. Whatever, Yugi, whatever. Should have summoned red eyes, Matt. That's all I'm saying. Yes, I know. I should have summoned red eyes. All right, Keith, I'm pissed off. Your little zombie lackey pissed me off, so now I'm going to kill you. Go, mystical elf, you beautiful blue woman. There's actually, like, a connection between Mystical Elf and Blue-Eyes White Dragon, actually, because they're both, like, I think in the original card lore or something with the original game. And, of course, uh, Bandit Keith loves to just spam machine monsters. He also had, uh, let's see, Zara the Mant in his deck in the uh, in this duel, so let's see if he has that. That would be interesting. All right, uh, let's throw out our beaver, and if it survives a turn, we'll be able to summon Curse of Dragon. Maybe we'll get Gaia the Dragon Champion in this run. We'll see. With big tits. Uh, I don't know what the context with that was, but okay. Big tits are fun. You fool! Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Oh, we can deal with that. That's fine. It's just the Machine King. Oh, you're fuck Keith. We're gonna fuck Keith so hard. Are you ready to fuck Keith, guys? I'm ready to fuck Keith. Though I can't fuck Keith right now because... I have to wait until uh, he attacks me so I can destroy his monster with uh, Mirror Force. So let's get rid of uh, our beaver, summon Curse of Dragon, and uh, then we'll have it. Now I knew it! Zara the Mant! Alright, come on, bring it! Man, this would be really scary if I didn't have this. Unless you have, like, Trap Jammer or some shit. Oh, fuck me! Wait, what did that do? Wait. Hold on. Yeah, I have another one, though. Hey! That's not fair! I had another one! Alright, well, you know what? That kind of screwed you over at the end of the day, because you still lost, and you took a huge chunk out of your life points there. What does Solomon Judgment do? Oh, man, that is so serendipitous. I don't need the rules, because I got ancient rules. Did I just win? Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, I think I have to... Yeah, but I'm pretty sure I just won. Yeah. Techie 101 can get rid of my beaver anytime. Oh my. Trophy earned. Damage dealer. What card of Yu-Gi-Oh would I bang? You might think Dark Magician Girl, but no. Gemini Elves. Three-way. 
Oh, hey there, Bakora. How you doing? You're not wearing the proper outfit right now. You're supposed to be in your school uniform, but whatever. We'll just go with the fantasy. All right, so we got Zara. Oh, we got Cyberjar. That's cool. All right, now moving on to the Battle City Tournament. I guess we're just skipping over that duel that Joey had with the Rare Hunter because we can't duel the same person more than once, right? You know, except for uh, Pegasus and Yugi and Pegasus and Kaiba. It's just not possible. Uh, but anyway... Uh, yeah, so let's go with the Rare Hunter. I don't think he was ever given a name. Alright, so far this is right. Oh yeah, this is- oh yeah. Wait, we- you mean we don't get the duel between Yugi and the most dangerous Yu-Gi-Oh uh, antagonist ever? Johnny Steps? We don't get the Johnny Steps duel. The fuck? Like, there better be a Johnny Steps DLC. I want to see that shit. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, are we gonna go through the whole thing with the Shizu in the museum? God, you can at least throw up the background as the museum! Wow, Shizu's rocking some cleavage there. I didn't think she usually showed off, but okay. Huh? Who are you? Tell me! I am a Shizu of the Egyptian Historical Society. I have uncovered many mysteries about all these ancient carvings using the magic of my Millennium Necklace. Also, my brother is going to try to kill you. He has founded a mysterious terrorist organization utilizing the Millennium Rod, which allows him to control others' minds. But I'm not going to tell you this right now because I just don't feel like it. Yeah, so she tells us shit. Okay, here we go. Joey duels against the Rare Hunter. Jo Rare Hunter uses Exodiac, destroys Joey, takes Red Eyes Black Dragon. Beats them to shit in the alleyway. There's actually this really emotional moment in the anime where Tristan finds uh, Joey on a beach and then, like, beats the shit out of him to cheer up because it's the whole thing with Serenity. I don't think Serenity's even in this game. All right, here we go. Everyone that's Egyptian is in full racist stereotype clothing. Yeah, yeah, why not, right? All right, then. Ooh, we got Burfomet and Gazelle. Sweet. Oh, and Chain Destruction. See, this is great. I remember a lot of things from this duel being so damn convenient. Number one, Yugi activates a trap card just out of his... Like, he draws Light Force Sword and then just activates it. Like, you gotta love that shit. Yugi, that's like... That's typical anime cheating logic all the time. Yugi's like... Like, the writers are like, oh shit, he doesn't have a way to win. Let, let's just have him activate a Light Force Sword out of his hand. But that's a trap card. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't matter. He has to win. Uh, and then he, of course, Yugi, in this one, the, only in this duel, does he have cards like Chain Destruction and Time Seal. Cards that are very useful for dealing with somebody that has an Exodia deck. You gotta love that shit. Alright, so I, uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, throw out Gazelle. Now, this guy should have a lot of defensive cards and, like, Swords Revealing Light and, like, Graceful Charities because he's going to try to summon Exodia. In the manga, Light Force Sword was a spell card. That's why. Ah. Well, in the anime, it wasn't. In the real card game, it wasn't. So that's, uh, yeah, that's still, a, that, that was still a very glaring issue there. Remember that card, uh, Makiora the Destructor? W what the hell were they thinking with that card? In case you don't know... Makiura the Destructor, or was it the Destroyer? I think it was the Destructor. It's a normal, mo it's a, an effect monster card. It's four stars, 1600 attack. But when you play it, you're allowed to activate trap cards the same turn from your hand. Can you, can you think of anything broken shit that you could use with that effect? What the fuck were they thinking, man? Like, if I was going to ever... Uh, Pot of Duality, no. If I was gonna ever do, like, a top ten, like, what the fuck were they thinking kind of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, that would be one of them. Uh. Alright, what are you doing? Graceful Charity, of course. Of course. He's gonna summon Exodia on the first turn. He's gonna do it. Freaking Exodia deck bullshit. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Makiora is better off bed. Yeah, no shit. That that really that really makes me wonder what the play what the people that created that card were even thinking. Like that is such a broken card. That's like if there was a spell card 
that allowed you to, like, summon any card from your deck immediately. Like, can you imagine how broken that card would be? So don't have it. Same thing with Makiora. Ah, oh, I got obliterated like a bitch. I got 300 people watching right now. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys still care about me. Ah, oh, damn you, Rare Hunter. I also remember... Seeker, that was his name. I also remember... Because he was a rare hunter, he kept making, like, hunting puns. He's like, I'm the predator, and you're my prey, Yugi. As a rare hunter, I always find very... I always sniff out rare cards. You know, shit like that. Even though it's, like, the whole... The, the whole group is called rare hunters. So you can... You don't have to, like, be overly... You don't have to take the hunter aspect of some crazy life. Should have made some hunter-hunter references. That would have won. That would have been kick ass. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's another card he had in the anime, too. What's funny, when he activated that card, Yugi was like, the swords are revealing light is nothing but a, a, a last-ditch effort that a foolish coward uses to protect his life points, when in reality, Yugi uses it all the goddamn time. Hold on, let me respond to his text here. Uh. Alright, what do we got here? Chain Destruction. I actually remember getting, I got Chain Destruction once in a uh, booster pack, and I looked at the card and I was thinking, wow, this card is fucking useless. Because all it was weird because it was an ultra rare card, but it's so weird. It's like, it, it basically target a card on the field, and you destroy every other copy of that card in their deck. You don't actually destroy the card on the field, just the cards, the extra copies they have in their deck. I guess is sort of useful, but... Eh. Eh. Damn you, Pot of Duality! He's gonna draw it again, isn't he? Oh, hey, you got Joey's Red Eyes! That's not cool, bro. He's texting his hoe. Nah, I'm not. He's gonna use fucking... He's gonna use Darkhold. Yep. Ooh! Oh, actually, that's funny, because Yugi used that in the game to actually destroy Swords Revealing Link. Celtic Guardian! Okay. I think we're good. Activate Dust Tornado! Boom! Okay. Fine. Alright. Another freaking Chain Destruction. Damn. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna summon Gazelle, because I already have Gazelle in my hand, so... Chain Destruction was made to combat Blue Eyes. That's a very specific sort of card to destroy. That's probably going to be either Stone Stacks with the Aztecs or Gear Golem or, uh... Uh... Giant Soldier of Stone or something. I might be able to summon Chimera if I get Polly. Sure. No. There we go. What do I have in my extra deck? Probably Chimera. Probably three copies of Chimera. Yeah, I figured. Three copies of Chimera. I just noticed Burfomet has less attack than Gazelle. I thought I could have sworn he had more. Oh, I'm going to lose double. I could have sworn he had more. Ooh, 
Ooh, brain control. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I'll have to use that to get rid of... Um, hold on. I'm trying to think. Well, first, let's... Uh, let's summon another gazelle. I'm going to switch Burfomet to defense mode. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of uh, those stone statues he has. Wait, no. No. I don't want to... No! I didn't want to... Ah, oh, god damn it. All right. Switch Burfomet to defense position. All right, let's attack. That's another one, yeah. All right. There we go. All right. Your field is like a zoo. Yeah, it pretty much is. Come see the fantastical, the amazing Chimera, the flying mythical beast. All right. Uh, brain control is going to get... Take control of one of these. Sweet. Alright. Now, provided he doesn't have a freaking mirror force or something. There we go. Alright. Good. We're back at Bay as a Nass. Alright. Shit. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. No! <laughs> alright, 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 okay. I think we're still alright. Uh, can't attack you. It's gonna be graceful charity, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, god! He won. No, he didn't. <gasps> that doesn't really help me. <laughs> I need to get Summon Skull or some Monster Reborn. I need to get some up in here. This is getting dangerous. Oh, Reckless Greed, yeah. Alright, we're safe for a while then. He was too reckless with his greed. And it cost him. Okay. Come on, Summon Skull, Monster Reborn, Dark Magician, something. All right, that eh, that doesn't really help me because if he has Exodia, it doesn't fucking matter, but all right. Don't be graceful, Charity. All right. Okay, now he has to discard cards. God, Feral Amp, these aren't helping me. Come on, Yugi, give me something to work with here, Yugi. Exodia's in his graveyard. Yeah, well, that depends if he's going to be a freaking dick about this and have, like, three copies of each in his deck, like he did in the anime, which were actually counterfeits in the anime. Now, you, now I know that's against the rules, but... <laughs> well, let's look at it this way. There's a piece of Exodia. There's two pieces of Exodia that are in his graveyard right now. I just won. I, but if this was real, if this was, like, the game rules, then there wouldn't be... Look at that! He has two copies of the same card! Yeah! Fuck you! That's against the rules! Each piece of Exodia is limited, which means you're only allowed to have one copy of each in your deck. Look at that. Yeah, knew it. Anyway, I won. Just gotta tribute summon for Summon Skull here. Alright. Alright. 
I forgot to switch Burfa. I, I forgot to switch Burfa Met to attack mode. <laughs> Who else but Teching? I swear to Christ, if he draws it, I swear to God. I swear I'm gonna hit something hard. Oh no! 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 <laughs> my car today and do you know what my reaction was when I skidded in, like I'm sliding around the road trying to get control of my car and then I just bamp into a freaking snowbank and then I hit the snowbank so hard I like it was like a bumper car I like bounced right back on the road if there was another car coming I would have been fucked but my reaction to that was not as intense as this I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. All right. All right. You suck a lot. It's been 42 minutes. We haven't been able to win a single duel. Oh, no. We won against uh, Keith. That's all. That's the only person we won against. Damn, checking, just damn. I know. <clears throat> All right. I feel like this is going to go quick. I feel like we have a good hand. You should have used Chain Destruction on Exodia. It doesn't work unless the card... The card has to be summoned to the field for Chain Destruction to work. He didn't summon Exodia, so I couldn't have used it. He would have to, like... If he summoned... Like, in the anime, Seeker summoned uh, Exodia's head in attack mode. Hold on a second, guys. I'm getting a call. I need to take this. Hello? Uh, yes. Insurance company. Oh, uh, yeah, what's up?
Okay, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm sorry, I'm back, I'm sorry. Fucking insurance company. Actually, no, not fucking insurance company. He was a nice guy. His name was Ricardo. He just wanted to know some extra information on where I hit my car, where I wrecked it, where I'm getting it towed. That kind of shit. Oh, it's been a busy day, man. Uh... All right. Oh, all right. There we go. Okay, that's probably going to be another... Yeah. Ooh, and I gear golem. And I got the bonus from Mystical Plasma Zone. No, no, no. It's not totaled. It's just that I have no transmission fluid. I Whatever I hit emptied out all the tranny fluid I have in my car. And, uh my car overheats, and so you can drive it, but it's gonna overheat really quick, and it's, I don't know what happens when a car overheats, but I'm assuming not, it's not something good. Ha, you fool! Uh, yeah. Is it a quick fix? Oh, no, it's not going to be a quick fix. Uh, the front end of my car is all fucked up. Raigeki, I thought it was banned. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter in this game if it was banned. But, no, it's not banned anymore. It was uh, taken off. Banned list. I think it's unlimited now, actually. All right, I think, we, I think we're good. Oh, yeah. Suck it, Seeker! No, 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 it's fine. It's just, uh... There's nobody that can... It's on a Saturday, you know? Nobody's working today. All the all the mechanics, all the body shops are closed. So, no, we can't get it towed until Monday, so... You know, it's whatever. It's, it's, the per it's parked in a uh, laundromat parking lot, but I know a guy that works there. And, uh, it's fine. It's- no one's gonna fuck with it. It's not gonna get, like, a ticket or anything, so... We're fine. I counter your swords of revealing light with my swords of a concealing light! Shit. Alright, one more turn. Ooh. I might be able to summon Fenix next turn. If I could do that, I basically won. Touch swords. Ah. Alright, I won. Pretty sure I won. Yep. Beat this generic villain teching. I just did with barely enough attack points. All right. There we go. What's next? Arcana. The master of magicians. Ooh, Obelisk the Tormentor. Oh, hey, look, it's Odeorn. Odeorn. 
Master Merrick. All right, let's do this. Oh, look at Arcana. He looks so fun. Arcana's backstory is actually pretty damn depressing, actually. It's another one where it's like, I had a life, then she died. Or, no, no, it was... Was Arcana the one who had the wife that died, or was it, like, a girl that he, like, was obsessed over and, like, stalked or something? I can't remember. Either way, in the original anime, this was, like, a, a, a duel where there was, like, buzz saws about to cut off their legs or some shit. I summoned Silverfang! Because I got nothing else that I can... Well, I can play Karibo, but, I mean, come on. Ooh, Kazi! Shit. He got hurt, was a get to her, she left, yeah, yeah, it was like little nuts. Yeah, that's that's about right, yeah. That's a little right, that's a little right, yeah. Uh hmm. Should I give him I could destroy that card, but I would have to give him Karibo. You know what? All that's going to happen is that I would I wouldn't be able to play anything, and I would take damage anyway. So, sure. Why don't we do that? You fool! Now you have a useless Karibo. No, not the fuzzball. Yes, the fuzzball. Ectoplasmer, that's not good. Ow. Yeah, destroy, sacrifice a card, and then it takes uh, half the damage to your life points. Okay, that's good. Hopefully, if I can summon Summon Skull next turn, I think I'll be sitting pretty. Infected mail? No! What does that do? <gasps> Messenger of Peace? Okay, Messenger of Peace is like such a weird card. It's like, you only have to pay 100 life points a turn, and you can't declare an attack with something that has higher than 2,000. I'm 1,500 attack. Yeah, that's weird. What does Infected mail do? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Dark Magician Girl, please! I'm waiting. Alright, Arcana. Oh, yeah! Yo, by the way, guys, you know what was funny about that phone call? The funniest thing was that um, he just wanted some extra information from me. But the car, uh, the insurance is under my mom's name, because it's, you know, I'm still living with her. Uh, and so he asked, so Karen, I guess, is your wife then? And I'm like, no, it's my mom, actually. And, uh, yeah, that was that was kind of awkward. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we gotta throw out Dark Magician Girl. We have to! I mean, come on! Yeah! I can't attack, but yeah! I just feel that 100 life point charge is, like, so weak. Ooh, Dark Magic Curtain. Pay half my life points to summon a Dark Magician. There's one right there! There's nothing I can do until I draw Dust Tornado or something to destroy that ship. I have to have something in my deck that can destroy a spell card. I have to have something. He's not going to be able to attack either, so worst case scenario... Well, no, I guess he wouldn't bleed out first. I guess I would. Unless he attacks and doesn't... Oh, I can attack with this, though. That's cool. I can attack with Celtic. Yes! Wait, no! Wait. Oh, okay, yes. Yes! No! Maybe! Dark magic attack spell card. Yeah, if I have one in my deck, that'd be groovy. Groovy! Ooh, that'd be useful. Not much right now. No, I don't want to surrender. 
Ah, another one of those things. This card has such a specific effect. During your next standby phase, after this card was sent to the field of the graveyard, by the effect of a continuous spell card, you can special this summon to this card from the graveyard. It's such a round, such a complicated effect for such a kind of a shitty outcome, you know? If this card is sp specifically destroyed by a continuous magic card, then this card is brought back from the graveyard. I'd be like, all right, very specific there. No, I'm not summoning it. I'm not going to waste all my life points. I probably have three Dark Magicians in my deck, though. Ah, oh, damn it, another one. Check the extra deck. Well, there's not going to be anything... There's not going to be an XZ or a Synchro in there. So the best case scenario is I have, like, Chimera or, uh... You know, like, Gaia the Dragon Champion or something. There we go. Yeah, Chimera and Black Skull. Ooh! I could summon Black Skull Dragon, but that wouldn't really be useful right now, because I couldn't attack with him. But someday... Someday, my friend. Someday. Hashtag someday. Shit. Ow. Alright. Ow. He'd never be able to kill it. Well, no, I wouldn't win just because that's the kind of a... I think that's crappy logic because Black Skull Dragon, we'd never be able to kill it. Yeah, but he could throw out a spell card could kill it. Or he could just keep using Infected Mail. Or, you know, a card effect could destroy it. You know, there's other ways that he could destroy shit. has to be a face-up card, all right? I'll get rid of that. Damn! Okay. Not help sexy, but not helpful. <laughs> Those aren't always the same thing. Let's fuck it. Oh, I know that's Stealth Bird under there. Yeah, that's not going to help. That's not going to help me. Oh. Even if he plays Raigeki, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal because I still have uh, Dark Magic Curtain. So, he's going to use Infected Mail. He's going to do that. Yeah, or not. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's gonna keep kicking my ass with that stealth bird. Alright, we got one more trance at this. There is one thing I could do. If I did this, yeah. Yeah, I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. Freaking infected mail, man. Wait, what?
Okay, fail. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, uh, that doesn't help me. But, uh, uh, no, not really much of a, not really much of a benefit there. Um, yeah. Not tragedy. Keep in mind, uh, I'm doing that for a reason. Because if he uses infected mail, okay, okay, okay. God, damn. come on, Yugi! You have to have a fuck. You have to have something in your deck that can destroy a freaking spell card. I just need one thing that can destroy a spell card. Just one thing. dead. Or not. Okay. 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 All right. Let's, let's, let's check our options here. Let's, let's look at our options. Uh, a lot of shitty options. Ooh. That's not going to help me, though. No, that's not going to help me. I mean... I'm dead. Yep. Uh, why didn't you get stealth bird? Because it wouldn't have helped. It wouldn't have helped, trust me. I would have... It wouldn't have helped me. Because that's effect... It, it, I would have to wait a whole turn to use its effect, and even if I managed to use its effect, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have helped. First to go. That was a nail biter. Oh yeah, that was that was a real white knuckler. That. All right. So we're saving that goddamn spell shattering arrow for one thing. We're saving that for a freaking messenger of peace rainy day. Um. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Oh, look at. Is four thousand life points really worth summoning dark magician? I mean, dark magician girl, sure, but. Okay, um, let's throw this out. Let's activate Graceful Charity. Okay, get rid of that, and get rid of... You're gonna, you're gonna bitch at me for this, but we could just use Monster Reborn and bring her back. She's really, honestly, not all that useful. That's not even the correct Dark Magician. That is true. Arcana had, a, had like a red-colored one. No. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. No, I didn't want to do that! Oh well, too late now. I did it. What did I destroy? Uh, that's not a magician. This is a magician. All right, well. Huh, okay, that happened. All right, well, you know what they say. Uh. Dark magic attack! And he keeps screwing up even more! He is tired, I can tell. I'm not really that tired. I just don't pay attention to things and I click on things too fast. No! No! No, and she has more attack points than I do, I think. Because of... Shit! Aha! But we have the... Yes! Fool! Yeah! Not getting stuck in that loop again. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Oh, in the graveyard. Okay, not on the field. All right, I thought... All right. Okay. Sorry, girl. All right. This is the last turn for swords. Okay, buddy, you want to keep doing that? That's yeah, sure. Why not? Boom! All right. Aha! I think I done goofed, because there's really no point for me to summon her, because it didn't really... Uh, well... I could do this. Kamikaze, you're dark magicians. You know what? No. I'll kamikaze one of them. Suicide to buff D-Girl. Yeah, I didn't think that. I didn't think of that. I'm not clever enough to think... That's like thinking a move ahead or something. I can't do that shit. Oh, he didn't Kamikaze either. I'm surprised. Ooh, Mirror Force. All right, I think we still might have won this one. Yeah. I summon this tomato to summon this tomato. Yeah! Quit summoning tomatoes! Freaking annoying vegetable or fruit. I don't even know what the hell they're supposed to be. Yeah, why don't you strategy? I don't know, because I don't pay attention to stuff. Kind of kills the point of a strategy game. Yeah. Yeah, but I want to be, like, really good at it without thinking. You know? Like, just, I'm a genius, you know? I just throw shit out there and it just works. That'd be pretty cool if that was the way it worked, huh? Uh, yeah, actually. Fuck off! Oh, oh, oh! How's that for strategy, huh? Oh! I still won! Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Are you gonna take? Are you gonna take an over by uh, Merrick now? Yep. Beware the quiet one. We'll meet again, Yugi. Oh yeah, that's right. We have to duel against uh, Weevil next. 
All right, let's see how quickly we can take this kid out. Now, actually, the whole reason that Joey fucked up in this duel is he got his cards all infected by Parasite Parasite, so let's just try not to do that, and I think we'll be good to go. Ugh. And no more tomatoes! Okay. I like the tomatoes, though. Alright, let's see what we got here. Ooh, we got a bunch of different options. We got Grave Robber! Ha ha ha! Um, what do we got? Probably, uh, Alligator Sword Dragon. Yeah, Alligator Sword Dragon and Thousand Dragon. Even if it is Parasite, Parasite, it's not going to matter because Gear Freak can't be equipped with cards. Chonauchi chan! Kisatai! Shit. Should have had a gear free to attack him. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Get some extra damage. Six, 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 six! Aww. Damn it. Hey, this mighty lizard man can swing his sword so fast that it's more does than speed of sound. Is that like if Joey was... Ooh, we got Jinzo. Yeah. We won't be able to activate uh, Grave Robber now, but that's not a big... That's not a big diff. I hope it's Parasite Parasite. Ooh, no, it's not. I'll buy that shit. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. I think we won. Got my little wing god. He can't activate traps, so... Ooh! Oh, yeah, there was no duel with Esperoba. I just realized that. No duel with Esperoba. That's sad. Esperoba was awesome. And a uh, little wing guard goes into defense at the end of every turn. Because he's a little wing guard. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, and a panther warrior. This is really Joey. This is super Joey. You fool! Cockroach knight. Seriously? Wow. Alright, panther warrior. Finish it off. All right, see, it's like they're really easy or they're super, yeah. Welcome to Loserville, Weevil Population U. I, I lost? Ah! Have mercy. So we don't duel against Mako or Esperoba. We just do, they decided that, yeah, the Joey versus Weevil duel. That's the one that needs to be shown. All right, well, now we're moving on to uh, Strings. Now, Strings has a very interesting backstory. I believe he killed his parents, and then became a mime, and then Merrick kind of took him over. He's sort of got like a lazy eye thing going on there. Well, let's see how quick this will work. Now, ooh, the god cards, with the new updated artwork. Yugi, prepare to duel. Merrick, meet my mind slave. Oh god, he looks terrifying. Meet my mind stings. Strings, the quiet one. Do this. Do it for Slifer. All right. Now, the thing about Strings is he likes to, uh, you know, he's going to have Revival Jam. He's going to probably have, like, Jam Breeding Machine, Humanoid Slime. 
those kind of cards. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Now, Revival Jam is really kind of honestly a shitty card because you can bring it back every turn, but you have to pay a thousand life points to do that. So it's not really worth it in the grand scheme of things, especially when I'm just going to... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might, I might be able to deal some pretty heavy damage to this motherfucker if I think about this for a second. All right. Set that... Set that. Okay. Uh -huh. I was hoping that if I drew, like, Summon Skull, I can use, like, uh, Revival Jam as the sacrifice, but that didn't go down the way I wanted. But it's still not bad. It's all right. Oh, yeah, just keep, just keep throwing those spell cards out. That will be great for my Spell Shattering Arrow. Probably gonna be not what I intended it to be, but it's still okay. What do you got, strings? I could attack Revival Jam, but that would just destroy Gazelle. He might spend the extra thousand to bring it back, but I don't think he would. Oh, of course. The Dark Door. Basta Blada. He's a Basta, but he's also a Blada. Uh, yeah. You've been spellbound. I love how you don't think about your moves. Well, I am right now. If he pulls Slifer, you're screwed. How would I be screwed? He doesn't have enough monsters to sacrifice, and he only has one card in his hand. So if he pulls Slifer, I mean, it'll be a threat, but it won't be that big of a threat. He won't be able to summon it right away. All right. Ooh, Robin Zombie. Hey, if you want to keep using Revival Jam's effect like a fucking idiot, go for it, man. You can't kill a god, Tekking! It's Slifer, not Osiris. Okay, fine, Osiris. Ah. Alright, now... I don't think the game would let you do this. I don't think the game would let you be like, all right, Revival Jam is defeated. Do you want to pay a thousand life points? Yes. Okay, you lose. I don't think the game would let you do that. But let's see. 
Let's just let's just stress test this, shall we? Oh, diffusion? No. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, it could the, the AI could not be that retarded. Oh hey, one day of peace! That's a six Sammy card. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not that thing. Ah, you were making this so easy, strings. And you gotta go and fucking spam your shit. All right, so this is why this thing is annoying. Magic Shalilian. Your opponent cannot attack this card while they control any spell or trap cards. During battle between this card and attack... Okay, and it has piercing damage also. Hand Destruction! Get rid of Diffusion. I'll get rid of Red Eyes because I might be able to summon him with Monster Reborn or something. Oh, look. I... Hey, fuck it. Fuck the whole thing. Ooh. That might be handy. Yeah. Yeah, because that Majin thing is going to be... It's going to be annoying, I'll tell you what. See, I didn't have I didn't have summon skull be destroyed. I mean to be transferred. See, I'm smart. Duh. I don't know, man. I don't know, but I don't destroy oh shit. It's gonna summon another one, is Ah You everybody has like three copies of every card in this deck. I love this game. One more turn. Alright, that's gone. Now Shit. It's gonna summon Slifer, isn't it? Uh-oh. 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 Hey! Yeah! But! Wait! Hold on a second here! Just hold on a second! What's all? Alright. Bye-bye, Slifer. Okay, so... So... Not good, but also not bad for a few reasons. Okay, so reason number one, you got the Call of the Haunted there. Uh, also, his magic and trap cards are all filled because this Call of the Haunted was connected to Slifer. Now, if Slifer would have been destroyed by my monster... Call of the Haunted would have been destroyed as well, but it wasn't destroyed. It got sent to the graveyard by its own effect. So that means that Call of the, Gra Call of the Haunted stays on the field, taking up a spot. Also, you have Dark Door in play. Only one monster can attack each turn. And I have Robin Zombie. So every time they inflict battle damage, I get to destroy the top card from their deck. And I got enough life points. So I think I should be okay. Even if I draw a shit card next turn, I can use Hand Destruction... And we might be able to make this work. Alright, he's going to direct attack me with Majino. And then... Why didn't Robin Zombie activate? Battle damage. Ah, it has to be battle damage. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, yeah, why not? They all do the same thing, so why the fuck not? Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Alright, I'm going to throw that out. Throw that out. Alright. I could attack. I mean, why not, right? I mean, he doesn't have any trap cards, probably. Ah, fuck. Alright, well, whatever. They have us surrounded. Good, we can shoot in every direction. Oh, what's that from? That sounds like it's from something. I, that sounds funny. Alright. Got rid of the Majin Toad thing. Okay, good. Now, we could summon Slifer if we wanted to. But that would he would only he would only last one turn and he would disappear and he would have zero attack points because we don't have anything in our grit in our hands. But what we do have is we do have our friend Busta Blader, who gets an extra 500 attack for every dragon in our graveyard. Uh 
So we have uh, one dragon. I think we just have red eyes. Yeah. Watch. Worth it. Worth it! All right. Let's start thinning out the herd, shall we? I know, guys. I'm 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 intense too. This card gains 500 attack for each dragon monster your opponent controls. Did they change Buster Raider? Because I could have sworn it was the dragons that were in your graveyard that gave it the boost. Could have sworn that was the case. Teching is gonna deck out. Nope. Just, just nope. Just nope. Nope. No, I'm not going to deck out, guys. Don't worry. I want him to attack one of my weak-ass monsters so Robin Zombie could do something to him. Because this is just an exercise of futility here, unless he keeps drawing, unless he goes for like a spell card or something. It would be very ironic if I was the one to deck out, because in the original anime, it was, uh, the, it was strings that decked out. Well, if he doesn't draw a monster, he's gonna lose because I he takes one attack, one direct attack from my Buster Blader. Yeah, and he's fucked. You fuck boy, you're gonna deck out. I Would you quit saying I'm gonna deck out? I'm not gonna fucking deck out. Well, that's useless. All right, come on. If he draws a monster, if he doesn't draw a monster, then he loses. I win. Teching's gonna deck out. If you lose, I'll chop off my dick. Ah, oh, damn, I should have lost. All right. I win. It's over. It can't be. How could the Egyptian god card in my deck? You'll... Oh, actually, you know what? I mean, like, they're not that great. I mean, they're okay, but they're not that great. All right, so that's uh, moving up right to the Battle City Finals, by the way. You know that whole dramatic duel between Yugi? Uh, well, first off, the whole duel between uh, Joey and Mako Tsunami, and then there was the duel between Kaiba and then Loomis and Umbra, and then there was the duel between Kaiba, Yugi, Loomis, and Umbra, and then there was the, that dramatic duel where uh, Joey was dueling Yugi, and uh, then there was, of course, there was the duel between Bakora and Bones. Uh, oh, and then, of course, there was that duel between Mai and Jean-Claude Magnum. Yeah, they just they skip over all that. And now we just move to the finals. So, yeah. But uh, that's about an hour and a half, so I think we're good. We can move onward now. Um, yeah, let's try... You know what? Let's try to take out Bones one more time. Because those are, like, the cards, the decks back here. Let's, let's, get, let's give Bones one more shot. Alright, Bones. You're going down, Bones. When I'm done with you, you'll be nothing but, um, guts. Yeah! All right. You're on a roll, so why not? Yeah, why the hell not? Right, we got good cards. Well, we got decent something to work with here. Axe Raider. How does Axe Raider see? He just takes his axe and just starts swinging it around like a madman. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Great. Now I'm living in a zombie world. Ooh, but I do have Polly. Oh, what can I summon? What the hell could I summon? Oh, Flame Swordsman. Yeah. I forgot that uh, Masaki was a fusion material. Yeah, I forgot about that. All right, why not, right? Sharp. Sure. Five-star monsters with 1,500, 1,800 attack are lols. They really are. They really are. 
It's just back in the original part of the game. Yeah, they were still trying to figure shit out back then. Like, how many stars... I mean, how much attack points should a five-star monster have? Like, I don't know, like, uh... 1,600. Ah, cool! Flame Swordsman gets an animation. Cut him down. Also, the field doesn't change no matter what. That's kind of sad. Oh, wait. Ah, I could have summoned Tiger Axe. Yeah, that was my bad. You don't stand a ghost of a chance. I sounded like Nicolas Cage there. Yes. Go ahead, Bone. Summon your Call of the Haunted. Alright. Whatever. Okay. Nuke him. <laughs> yep. Aha. All right. Now we're moving. Oh, that might be a problem. He didn't kamikaze, though. It's kind of funny that Zombie World doesn't give zombies extra attack points. Weird. Alright, let's see what I could do here. I could Kamikaze, but if I do that, I'll only be able to deal, like, 1,200 damage. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, so I'm just gonna end here. How'd it get burned? How'd it get burned? Is he gonna Kamikaze? He is not. The pumpkin is, the pumpkin is too valuable to him. I need to draw, like, Salamandra or something. That would be pretty sweet. I need to get Polymerization or Time Wizard or... No, wait. Time Wizard doesn't work with this particular duel. Blue Shield and Sword. No, that'll only help out Pumpkin because Pumpkin has, like, the one zombie that has, like, 2,000 defense. Shit, I need to get better cards here. We're in a stalemate. We're in a stalemate, damn it! Until now. And now. Oh, shit. All right. Ouch. No, 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 wait, no, no, ow! All right. Now we're gonna try this again! Because I don't have a polymerization. I didn't want to do that, but whatever. It's- oh, okay, it isn't stacked against me then. Viva la time, wizard! Shit! Oh, you're not bringing back Pumpkin. You're bringing back... Okay. Ow. Well, alright. Man, I should have kept that shield and sword card. Oh, that helps! Alright. Come on, Joey. I believe in you, Joey. Come on, Joey. Come on, Joey! Huh, I could have I could have sworn at one point it was uh your opponent your own dragons that yeah, caused the effect. Guess I was wrong, you know, memory. No, 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 no. Guys, guys, it was the Mandela effect. Nope, it was the Mandela effect. I remember I remember that Buster Blader was cards from the graveyard, so that means there's a parallel universe out there somewhere, and- Oh, fuck you. A parallel universe out there somewhere, and, uh, yeah. I think, uh, getting rid of- Yeah, I think getting rid of this card is a little bit better at the moment. Okay. Stop, D. You don't stop my D. Shit. Ah. Oh. Aw, oh, no. Alright. Kunai with Shank. Alright, that might be useful.
Not yet. Not yet. Ooh! I don't know what it does, but I'll use it. Fuck. Alright, uh... <laughs> Alright. He's probably not gonna summon something else. Uh, I figured he wouldn't be. You fool! Indeed! Ha-ha! Say goodbye to your zombie world! Alright, got rid of that. Great. Okay, that turns into defense mode, which should be easily prey for the... For the battle warrior, of course! Shit. That would have been, that would have actually been exactly like in the anime where he summons Battle Warrior to destroy all the zombies that had zero D. I think I lost, unless I draw like Raideki or something. Ooh. Ooh. Eh. I don't think this will help much, but I'll give it a shot. I'm pretty sure I just lost. I think I lost, yeah. <sighs> yep, it's over. It's over. All right, well, thanks, you guys, for watching. Uh, catch us back here next time when we'll maybe defeat Bones. Maybe We still have to take on uh, Pegasus and uh, Kaiba. We still have to do that. And we'll continue on with the Battle City Finals, starting with uh, Bakura and Yugi. So hope you guys enjoyed uh, Teching 101 uh, signing out.